Zermatt in the Swiss canton of Wallis, and rising above it, the Matterhorn, one of the most beautiful and well-known mountains in the world. This health resort has remained car-free to this day. Visitors from all around the world value the naturalness of this idyllic spot in the mountains. Horse-drawn carriages and electric cars are the most important means of transport in Zermatt. Just as important and more famous, however, is the Rack Railway. For the last hundred years, the Gornegrat Railway has been transporting people and goods along the 3,000 meter high mountain ridge from which the railway took its name. In celebration of its 100th birthday, the company has taken on a somewhat longer name. It's now called the Gornegrat Monte Rosa Bahnen. Siamat shortly before the turn of the century. The village and its 500 inhabitants are experiencing their first economic upturn. Since the first successful ascent of the Matterhorn in 1865, more and more mountaineering enthusiasts have been coming. The first hotels, stores and craft shops are being kept busy. At first, they are only open for a short summer season. In winter, Siamat is mostly cut off from the outside world. In those days, donkeys and mules were needed to carry heavy loads to the mountain cabins, which received lots of guests. A popular address at this time is the small hotel on the Gornagrat. In 1896, courageous entrepreneurs and engineers hatch a daring plan. They want to build a rack railway up to the scenic mountain ridge. From Tsermat to the top is a rise of almost 1,500 meters, a monumental challenge to the engineers. All doubts are quickly cast aside. In about two years, the first electrically powered rack railway in Switzerland is built. Five bridges and just as many viaducts are built along an almost 10 kilometer stretch. The most impressive viaduct has to be the Findelenbach viaduct, which is 50 meters high. This construction of steel on massive stone pillars is a feat of engineering and workmanship. The construction crew, with its many Italian workers, has every reason to celebrate, while at the same time not forgetting the two men who were tragically killed during the construction. August the 20th, 1898, witnesses the maiden journey of the railway on the Gornagrat. The station at the end of the line was a little lower than the present one, which was built in 1909. In that same year, the Bellevue Hotel was built, now known as the Gornegrat Kulm Hotel. The Findelenbach Viaduct in this anniversary year. It's a great experience for passengers to travel over the gorge. The oldest citizen in Sermat is only two years younger than the Gornagrat Railway. His name is Ulrich Inderbinen. Far beyond the borders of Switzerland, people have heard of him, the oldest mountain guide in the world. He's climbed the Matterhorn alone about 370 times, not to mention other mountain climbs of 4,000 meters. His climbing companions have always been brought back home safely, without an accident. Ulrich Inderbin, the most famous citizen of Zermatt, lovingly known as Ulrich to the people who live and climb there. He's as old as this century, and still, he has not turned his back on modern life. For example, he takes a great interest in the new technological developments on the Gornagrad railway. You can often catch him talking shop at the train station with the railway men. And of course, he now and again takes the train to the top, having to get some use out of the free ticket that citizens of Tsermat of his age deserve. During the 40 minute journey, he has time to reminisce about the beginnings of the railway. He practically grew up with it. In 
Inderbeen is full of respect for the engineering feats of that time. I can imagine that the work in those days was very tough. They did it all without machines, by hand. It was a hard job. The anniversary train with a Matterhorn in the background on a Sunday, deep in snow. A winter athlete's dream. More than three million passengers use the Gornerkart railway every year. They are always in a good mood. Like children, they delight in the magnificent landscape that floats past them. The railway on the approach to the last station, at the top of the Gornergrat, a height of about 3,100 metres. It still literally tops among European mountain railways, being the only one at such a height built without tunnels. How could anyone forget to bring their skis or their snowboard with them? There are ski runs for beginners and professionals, ski runs to match every skill. And they're also safe from avalanches. And then it's off down the slopes with the imposing mountain of mountains in the background. Let's take a quick look at how winter operations for the Gornergrat railway began. The first experiments took place in 1928-29. However, it wasn't until the winter season of 1940-41 that the Rack railway introduced a regular winter schedule. In 1944, 40,000 passengers took the train up the wintry slopes of the Gornergrat. Even in those days, there were lots of skiing enthusiasts. Admittedly, there were no snow plows, which are a common sight on the slopes nowadays, but skiing in deep snow was still a fascinating experience. And, as these pictures show, people were surprisingly good at it. is people really liked to ski with one horsepower. Even the horses seem to be enjoying it. Sixty years later, people still come to the Gorner Grat for hours of winter fun. The thrill of racing off down the slopes is as strong as ever. Some time ago, the railway company built three cable railways that can take you up even higher than the Gornergrat. For example, you can travel to the Stockhorn at 3,400 meters. This is the starting point for some demanding mogul ski runs. In this anniversary year, the company has presented its customers with a fourth cable railway that takes passengers from Gant to the Hortili.
tourists can see ibexes locking horns over territory. Photos and film opportunities like this are not that rare on the slopes of this mountain ridge. These magnificent animals are not that tourist shy. The alpine jackdaws feel particularly at home on the Gornagrat. This is pretty understandable once you know there are always a few titbits to be had for these sharp and smart ravens on the sun terrace of the Gornagrat Kulm Hotel. People who dine here or stay overnight can rely on the excellent service provided in this luxurious hotel. At 3,100 meters, the hotel is the highest in Europe. Summer on the Matterhorn. People who take the RAP railway aren't looking for ski slopes now. It's very beautiful. Whatever the season, the Gornagrat is worth seeing. During the warm months, a majority of the guests come from Japan. One reason might be the partnership between the Brig Fist Semat Railway and the Japanese company Fuji Kyoko, which runs a railway to Mount Fuji. Many a paraglider has taken off from the Gornagrat. The panoramic view reveals the true majesty of these 4,000 meter high mountains with their rugged glaciers. For those who like to keep both feet firmly on the ground, there's still a lot to see. From the last railway station, there are lots of ways to explore the mountains. Lake Riffel is one of the most beautiful places to rest. Whoever sits down for a picnic at about 3,000 meters is surrounded by a sea of rare and protected mountain flowers, which people seldom disturb. Apparently, hikers in the mountains are also nature conservationists. Butterflies live from the flowers. The large number of species around Semat is a joy to see. October on the Gornagrat. The needles of the larch trees have turned golden yellow. Carline thistles are shining in the autumn sun. In the autumn, the staff of the Gornagrat railway also have a lot to do. Lots of tourists know that the view is terrific and the sunrises and sunsets are particularly pretty. Some take the first train and once at the top, they watch as the first rays of sun sparkle out from behind the Monte Rosa Massif. The peak of the Matterhorn is golden yellow. At this time of year, everyone wants to use the telescopes on the Gornagrat Plateau. 29 4,000 metre high mountains in all their splendour seem to be within easy reach. Autumn is also the season for mountaineering. The climbers travel with one of the first morning trains. One of their favorite destinations is the Riffelhorn. This 3,000 meter high mountain is good training for ascents of the Matterhorn. 
It has climbs at all levels of difficulty. still further. Astronomers. For them, the Gorner Grat is the El Dorado to the skies. The altitude means that the air is particularly clear and objects in space can be seen with needle-sharp clarity. Lots of amateur astronomers from all over the world come to this plateau. There are also two scientifically run observatories with three main areas of research. Radio astronomy, infrared astronomy and solar cosmic rays. The Matterhorn has already witnessed 100 successful years of the railway now celebrating its anniversary. The next 100 years are certain to be just as spectacular for the Gornergrat Monte Rosa Bahnen. <laughs> 